Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to explore how to create video on demand service by using AWS Media Convert, CloudFront, Amazon S3 and AWS Lambda. I will do an exact walkthrough by following the tutorial provided by AWS. This workflow resides in AWS Samples GitHub repository. I will share the link in the description. Let's come back to our Identity and Access Management console. I am going to click on Roles. As you can see, we have already created two roles, Media Convert Custom Role and Bot Lambda Role. Let's check out what is present in Media Convert Custom Role. In this role we are providing full access to Amazon S3. From a security standpoint always try limiting the user access privileges. In Bot Lambda role, we are giving access to S3, Lambda basic execution and a custom inline policy. In the custom inline policy, we are giving access to media convert, invalidating CloudFront cache, create log group, log streams, etc. You can customize based on your use case. Now, coming back to S3. We have created two buckets, input and output. Input is where we are going to upload our video and output is where our final assets will be stored. We will now move to AWS Lambda, where we are going to upload our function. This function is going to process our video and store it in the output bucket. I am going to name the function as what Lambda Convert. The runtime is going to be Python 3.7. I will choose the VOD Lambda role. I am not going to modify any advanced settings. Finally, I will click on Create Function. Now, I will upload the Lambda code which I have taken from the GitHub repository. The link is already provided in the description. As you can see in the convert.py file, we are processing HLS, MP4 and thumbnails. HLS stands for HTTP Live Streaming. In short, HLS is a media streaming protocol for delivering visual and audio media to viewers over the internet. Apple first launched the HTTP Live Streaming protocol in the summer of 2009. Now, let's go ahead and update the environment variables and configurations. I will provide the necessary information, so follow along with me. Be careful when adding the trigger, make sure you are pointing to the input bucket and not the output bucket. Otherwise you will fall under the recursive pattern which will cost you a lot. Next, I will create a test event to check everything is working fine or not.
The test has been executed successfully. Let me check in the output bucket. Now, I will delete the test assets and try uploading a sample video in the input bucket. The media convert has successfully processed the video and the assets can be viewed in the output bucket. It has generated three different resolutions. Nice part is the thumbnails are generated from our video. You can use them as cover image. Make sure to enable the cross origin access in your output bucket. We are going to play this video in the browser. Next, I will move to Amazon CloudFront where I am going to create a new distribution. I will provide all the necessary settings. Our distribution is created. CloudFront can take up to 25 minutes to deploy. Our distribution has been created successfully. Now, we will move to video.js, where we are going to integrate our video and play it in the browser. Now, let's try to play the video in the browser. Amazing! The video is running fine. I hope you have got the understanding about the flow of creating your own video streaming service using AWS. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please do like, share and subscribe.